Hello friends, welcome back to Factory IO tutorial. And in this lesson, we are going to learn that how to use timers in Control IO. So let's begin. So first of all, we need to turn on the Control IO. So for that, we we'll create a new project and uh, in drivers, I have to turn on the Control IO. Okay, so we need timers and we are going to create a logic using timers. So before we get started, we should create a simple mechanic system in the factory IO in order to understand the timer properly. So I take a simple 4 meter conveyor. And uh, we take a simple push button in order to start the conveyor. And uh, where we have here, here we got this simple push button. Okay, so we have attached a simple push button. Now we need a simple box which shows that the conveyor is running. So we take a simple box and uh, put it on the conveyor. Okay, so we have done. Now we create a simple logic in the control IO. So we need timer. So for that, go to function blocks. And first of all, we are going to understand that how to use timer on. So here we have timer on. And uh, the input and the output points are given and they are described that what is in and what is PT and ET and Q. So here we have IN is the start or reset signal that we have to give a signal to the timer in order to turn it on. And we have PT which stands for reset time that how much time we have to keep it in the timer in milliseconds in order to turn on in that particular time and uh, here we have the output signal that we received after the particular time that is achieved and time elapsed so how much time has been passed so it is shown with the help of integer okay so let's attach all the blocks to the timer so first of all we need a uh, input signal and uh, in the tags we get this start button and through start button we are getting the input signal to the timer and uh, as you know that the start button is the normally open push button that is we have to press and it gives the signal so we need a set command also in order to keep the timer in the on condition so in the logical we get set reset function and I attach the input of this start button with the set and output with the 
timer okay so in the preset time we take a numerical in the sources and here we have numerical and uh, I attach it to the preset and here we have to set the time in milliseconds that after that particular time the output is turned on so I set it to the 5 seconds okay so now we have to attach a integer to the elapsed time so we have integer in the memory section and here we have integer so we attach the integer with the elapsed time and uh, at the output what we have to turn on simply we have to turn on the conveyor and uh, for that I take this conveyor right over here and uh, attach it with the output of the timer okay so what happens that after 5 seconds the conveyor should be on so let's take a preview okay so one thing I should also do is that I should make this control IO in the transparent mode okay so here we can see it properly and uh, okay so when I press the push button the conveyor should be on after 5 seconds so when I press it the timer starts and after 5 seconds the conveyor is on as you can see the conveyor is on okay so this is a very simple logic we have okay so now we are going to learn the timer off so that is also easy so first we go to its normal preview and here we go so what we have to do we need timer off and we will get timer off in the function blocks and here we have timer off so I remove this timer on and uh, connect timer off the function of the timer off is simple that is the conveyor is normally on and uh, when the push button is pressed then the timer is start and after 5 seconds the conveyor is stop not turn on it turns off and uh, 5 seconds with the preset time time elapse with the integer and output with the conveyor okay so for the timer off we also need a normally closed push button because in order to turn on the timer off we need a stop push button that will turn on the conveyor and after 5 seconds the conveyor becomes off so we need a stop push button also so for that I go to factory IO again and uh, search for the stop push button and here we got the stop push button and uh, I place it on the conveyor okay so now I go to control IO again and in the tags okay so I drag and drop this stop push button and as you know that the stop push button is normally closed and for that we need a not function also so I drag and drop this not function also and uh, connect it with the reset okay so we have done now I go online and uh, I also turn on the factory I also okay so what we have to do first we have to press the start push button and after that we have to press the stop push button also because if you press the stop push button then the conveyor is start on and the conveyor is on and after five seconds 
it will off. So when it, first I press the start push button and I press the stop push button and after 5 seconds the conveyor is off. So that's it. So it is simple not so difficult. As you can see over here we have reached to 5 seconds and the conveyor is off. So that's it and I hope you have understand the timer on and timer off. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.